Remember, when performing calculations with sig figs, the answer can only be as precise as the question. So in this video, we'll be learning how to keep track of sig figs when adding or subtracting. When adding or subtracting, the number of decimal places in the answer is determined by the quantity in the question that has the fewest decimal places. Now once again, I know this is confusing, but an example will um, enlighten us. So if we want to add these three numbers together um, to the correct number of sig figs, this is the answer that we would get. So once again, when adding or subtracting the number of decimal places in the answer, so that's here, we have uh, one decimal place, um, it's in the tenths place, is determined by the quantity, these are the quantities, in the question that have the fewest decimal places. So this first number here has three sig figs, this number has two sig figs, and this has five sig figs. But none of that matters when we're adding or subtracting. So don't get confused between the multiplication rules and the adding rules. They're different. So it doesn't matter how many sig figs there are here. What matters is where they're at. And this number here is precise to the thousands place. Remember, this is the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, and the thousands place. This number is precise to the thousands place. This number is precise to the tenths place. And this number is precise to the thousands place. So the fact that this number is precise to the tenths place, this number limits us to an answer that's precise to the tenths place. So let's look at that same calculation um, in a slightly different way. So we just decided, because this question, this quantity here in the question is precise to the tenths place, that our answer can only be precise to the tenths place. So let's draw a line here after the tenths place. So we can only be as precise as here. Anything back here um, is too much estimation, and we don't want to include it. So let's go ahead and add the numbers up. We can only report to the tenths place. We can, however, use this number here to round. So our answer should not be 12.7, um, but rather 